So this video is basically following on from my variables video. I'll flash a card to that in the top right corner. Go watch that after this one or before this one, preferably, so this makes sense. Otherwise, let's get to this. <clears throat> All right, so get service is basically part of a variable, okay? So as long, presuming you know what a variable is, you watch my variables video, um, I've set a variable right here for the player's service, all right? And what is happening is I'm going to the game and I'm getting a service. It's an inbuilt function, okay? And the way we invoke this is colon, and it should probably pop up near the top, and we'll get get service, all right? So get service is basically just grabbing, uh, it's invoking a service, uh, obviously these in the Explorer are all the services available in Roblox to date, all right? And what we're basically doing is we are specifying between these parentheses what service we're looking for, okay? So that we're basically writing a shortcut, all right? So you know when you want to get a player added event, you have to go game dot players dot player added colon connect function, all that good stuff, right? What if I told you you can shorten this up by using the get service variable and we're getting the player's service so we don't have to do game dot players anymore. All right, this is a far more efficient method of getting that service the same way. So we're going to go player service dot player added colon connect function and we can use this anywhere in our script without having to redefine that every single time we need it. Uh, player, and drop a line, if player then, conditional statement, we're just going to do print, uh, print statement, and we'll just do player dot name dot dot concatenation, like my concatenation video, uh, has joined the game, and if we click play, focus down here on my output, as you can see, I've basically just written a shortcut. Okay, that's basically what variables are. That's basically what get service is. It's a better way of writing a variable. So, because you could do play service is equal to game um, dot <coughs> game dot players, but this is actually not going to work very well, right? Because you're only getting this variable once. So we need to get this variable uh, reliably every single time uh, and just once we want to go game come on get service players all right and we can do this for any service so we could get uh, replicated storage so local replicated storage is equal to game colon get service and then of course we're going to put replicated storage between these parentheses all right so I'm just going to come over here to the base plate world. I'm just going to spawn in a bunch of parts, all right? I'm going to put all these parts down here. And I'm going to add all these parts, okay, into a folder. All right, and folder. <clears throat> and what I'm basically going to do is add them all into replicated storage one by one. Well, for the folder, so I'm just going to do local folder is equal to equals uh, workspace dot actually no I'm going equals workspace colon wait for child and between these parentheses put folder or the name of your folder you've got up here I'm just leaving it by default all right so next I'm just going to do a standard for i comma v loop so for i comma v and pairs and I'm going to get the children of the folder so I'm going to do folder colon get children if you want to learn about this for i v um, in pairs loop then I will flash a card to that up in the top right corner probably um, yeah uh, if we then um, wait wait I'll just wait uh, one second and then I'll do b colon b colon v colon destroy and then I'll do uh, else if not v then v uh, print let's uh, do uh, no of 
I'm just going to warn, uh, okay, because um, warn is actually, is basically print, but it's printed out in a different color. Uh, warn, uh, no object, object found, uh, colon v, all right? <coughs> So it's saying no no object is found, okay? So this should work. Let me click play. We should look over at our parts and they're deleting one by one. That's right, that's good. All right, so that's basically get service. I mean, yeah, local, uh, this just server storage. <coughs> okay, so I could say uh, script dot parent is equal to game colon get service and server script service and I'll just put this script inside of workspace and then we just click run if we look under here in server script service we will see our script right here as we've defined it to learn a bit more about Roblox Lure then I'll leave a link to my discord server in the description below it's all about Roblox scripting and how to help you guys learn but other than that thank you guys so very much for watching see you next time